Hello again and welcome back to our course on Project 2019 Advanced. In the previous section I discussed some of the key points around project consolidation, the reasons that you might want to split projects up and the reasons why you might want to join projects together. And one of the key aspects that comes out of that is the importance of deciding how to deal with resources. And in relation to our charity event, we came across the first key issue, which is if we start to split the event into separate projects, we somehow need to make sure that those projects are using the same resources. And so what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you how to set up a resource pool and also show you how to share the resource pool between a number of projects. So my starting point for this section is the ending point for the preceding section. So I still have my complete list of tasks here in my charity event file. And I also have open at the moment the individual sports day project that I created in the preceding section. Now it's worth noting that the tasks involved in the sports day project are also still in this all charity event project, the main project. So it's clear that at some stage I'm probably going to need to remove those as they're now in separate projects. But I'm going to set up the resource pool first. Now one of the key aspects of a resource pool is that generally speaking we set it up as a project with resources but with no tasks. And quite often you'll want to set up the resource pool right at the beginning of the project so that you can then share that resource pool. So on many occasions you'll start off with a completely empty MPP file. You'll go to the resource sheet and you'll start entering in your resources which will make up your resource pool. You'll then save your project but with no tasks. Now on this occasion we already have a really great starting point for our resource pool. Because if I look at the resource sheet, I've already got all of my resources. And I'm going to basically save a copy of this project. I'm going to remove all of the tasks and then that will become my resource pool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on File. I'm going to go down to Save As. And then I'm going to browse to my normal Course Files folder. And my save project is going to be called charity event underscore resources dot mpp. Now having saved charity event resources, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of the tasks and I'm going to press the delete key. So I now have a project with no tasks. But if I click across to the resource sheet, of course I still have all of my resources and this is now my resource pool. Now let me switch back to the individual project, the sports day project. And what I'm going to do here is to specify that this project uses that resource pool. So if I go to the resource tab and in the assignments group there is a resource pool button. So I'm going to click the drop down and I'm going to select share resources. Now from here I'm given a choice, it's asking me do I want to use my own resources and essentially that's what I'm doing at the moment. Or do I want to use a resource from at least one open resource pool. So it is worth noting that when you want to use a resource pool that's already been set up, you do need to have that resource pool open. So let's click Use Resources and I'm going to select the drop down and I currently only have one other file open which is the Charity Event Resources and that happens to be where my resource pool is located so I'm going to select that. Now the meaning of the lower pair of radio buttons will become more apparent a little bit later on but let's just quickly look at it briefly now. So it says here, on conflict with calendar or resource information, the pool takes precedence or the sharer takes precedence. Now, what can happen sometimes is that when you're looking at resource information for shared resources, there may be a conflict between the resource pool and any calendars applying to resources in the resource pool. And, for example, a calendar in the sharing project, the sharer project. 
What you need to do is to specify here which takes precedence, the pool or the sharer. Now I'm going to leave this set at the pool, which is the default value at the moment, and I'm going to click on OK. Now when I did that, I don't know if you saw, but if you were looking carefully at task ID 10, we did have an over allocation there. And you'll see that now that I've set up those shared resources, it's disappeared. So I no longer have an over allocation on task 10. So let's jump across to the resource sheet. And you'll see that I'm now using that resource pool. And because I am, you can see that there are now 10 volunteers available, which is why that over allocation has been removed. So what I have now open is a resource pool and an individual sports day project that uses that resource pool. So the other thing that I need to do is to get the main project file, the charity event project file to use the resource pool. So let me open it again. So this file is, of course, still using its own resources. So I'm going to click on resource. I'm going to go to the assignments group and click on the resource pool and select share resources. I'm going to say use resources and we only have one option again. I want it to share the resources from the charity event resources file. And we're going to say that the pool takes precedence and click on OK. So now essentially what I have are two projects sharing the same resources. Now one of the next things that I need to do is separate fully the charity event project into four separate projects. And each of those needs to share our resource pool. And I'm going to make a start on that in the next section. Before I do, I want to talk a little more about resource sharing and one or two aspects of resource sharing that are important to be aware of. Now, in order to do this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go across to the resource sheet. And there, of course, is our resource pool. Now, you'll notice that we do have an over allocation here on the Sports Day PM. And the reason we have over allocated resources now is, of course, that I still have the Sports Day activities in the main project file. And I'm going to sort that out in the next section. But what I want to do is change the view here from resource sheet to resource usage. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new column. So let me just drag that along. I'm going to select new column. And what I'm looking for in here is project. And remember, everything is in alphabetical order, which makes it a little bit easier to find. I'm going to select project from the list. And I'm just going to drag this column next to work so it's a bit easier to see and let's just make it a bit wider as well and what you can see now is a very important aspect of a resource pool because the resource pool knows where the resources are being used and as you can see it's got a list of the unassigned tasks um, or that's tasks which haven't been assigned resources but where we have specific resources let's go down and you can see there we have the over allocated resource, the Sports Day PM. And you can see it's over allocated because it has resources in the charity event Sports Day project and also the charity event overall project. Now, some of these, as we know, are duplicates because we copied those resources across, but some of them aren't. And as I said, we'll be dealing with that in the next section. But when you're dealing with shared resource pool and consolidated projects, it can be very useful to include the project column in the table or tables that you're using while you're working on those projects, because it very often just clarifies which project or resource is being used in. And that's very often a good clue to resolving over allocations when you're dealing with multiple projects and possibly multiple project managers. So in the next section, we're going to turn our attention to splitting up the charity event into its constituent projects. So please join me for that.